Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're doing a hobby versus retail of the brand new 2019 Tops Update Series. We have two blaster boxes, two hanger boxes, and four fat packs. Uh, that equals to right around the $80 mark. In our hobby box, we got for about $80. So we're going to compare the two, and we want you to weigh in on uh, which one you think is the better value. Of course, this is you know kind of random in the fact that you could get some really good blaster boxes and a bad hobby box, but at least it gives you kind of a look as to what $80 will give to you. We're going to break some of this off camera to not uh make the video go too long expedite the process yep speed it up a little bit as always we'll keep separate piles and kind of show everything at the end to make it a little more interesting so got a austin riley rookie and we'll also i'm not gonna like show every base card or anything just because it's gonna take literally forever so there's a nice hurry up rookie it's pretty sweet familia I'm going to open up some of a blaster off camera here, and I will show anything good that I get. Uh, got a rainbow George Springer, 84 Nelson Cruz, and a perennial all-stars Vladimir Guerrero. This is like the retail exclusive yeah, insert. The re yep. There's a nice Carter Kaiboom rookie debut. Chapman, France. Now, we haven't opened. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's not bad. <gasps> oh, my word. Right off the bat, the first pack in the blaster box is a Vlad Guerrero Jr. gold. This is a, definitely a big car, card out of the set. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, so. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so retail. It's going to be hard to beat retail. This is that one card. Can you put this in the good pile? Yes, sir. Oh my word! That's a that's a good one. That's funny. <laughs> that's I don't know what those are selling for, but I'm guessing. Uh, look in, it up real quick. You got time? I'm guessing it's in the uh, hundred dollar range. Actually, look it up because I'm curious how much it. These, you, well, the rainbow foils go for around fifty. Well, you might so. you know you're thinking like gold and bleh, gold. But no, gold is it. It doesn't like if you look at Acuna Golds right now, they're like five hundred bucks. Yeah, it's, well, no, three hundred. Yeah, three to three to five hundred. So it's a decent card. Probably pays for all of the retail. Gary Carpenter, or Gary Carter, not Gary Carpenter. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, we got a gold Joe Biagini out of 2019. Reggie Jackson. That's cool. We got a. These are kind of tough to pull too. A SP of Ryan Sandberg. Oh yeah. One of those well, out of a retail, it's hard to pull. Yeah. Um. So that's pretty sweet. Just that one. I mean, they're only one a jumbo box. Got that out of a five dollar rack pack. So that's not bad at all. Sanchez, Josh Naylor, Bregman. Keep going through this stuff and a Yelich. Next up here, I'm going to open up a hanger box. Can I see what we got? So the this? last one that sold was 159. One sold for 248. One sold for 250. One sold for 129. They're all over the board. But figure more than <clears throat> the all these retail products combined. Yeah, so that's a big hit. 150 bucks about. First pack out of a blaster box. All right, so getting this <clears throat> hanger box, 67 um, cards, about $10 at most stores. <clears throat> nice so I'll keep opening up this rookie. blaster box, see what else we get. Gisner, Valdi, Chavez. Cole, uh, Thornton, Castro. I got a rainbow foil of Grandal All-Star Game. It's not bad. Um, so we're to our insert stuff here. Got a Gold Walker Beeler, uh, 2019. Rivera, Family Business. It's a nice Thomas Lane rookie rainbow. Yeah, that's foil. not bad. Um, Goldschmidt, 84. And a Roy Holiday Perennial All-Stars and a Clayton Kershaw. All right, so that wasn't a terrible hanger box. So once again, I mean, you get a ton of base cards, which is always pretty nice. I got a George Brett perennial Gutierrez. 
Not bad, not bad. And, of course, you're going to get a ton of rookies. You're going to get Alonzo and Tatis. We already pulled those. Um, there's an Austin Riley. That's the second Austin Riley. I think you've got, like, two or three of those. Yeah. Even. So, not too shabby there. All right. You want um, me to open you up can some open of up. Yeah, camera? you can just open up. Finish your blaster on All camera right. there. So, here's the next card that I got. A special out of the blaster. The Carter Keyboom 1984 insert. And... We'll do this, the rest of these here, kind of switch over. Um, Ford, Hundley, and Contreras. Next pack, I got three packs left out of this blaster. Obviously, the blaster is pretty good. Um, we've done this before, and uh, I feel like I've pulled some big cards off camera just like that before. So this is yes. pretty cool, the family business it seems almost seems like it's easier to hit a big rookie parallel out of retail somehow uh we've done it year after year, year. Yeah, every year we do it i mean yeah. every year we've done it um and it's not like we buy uh like four thousand no products of retail it's not like we go into the store like one of Sometimes these we don't even buy that much retail and we still get something big right so yeah exactly it's not like we're buying cases and cases of retail my blaster has had a couple of inserts so far, but nothing else too crazy. Thornton. Uh, here's a Diaz, uh, 150 years. There's a Vladimir Guerrero Ricky debut. Vladimir Guerrero Ricky debut. This almost looks like the short print, uh, just because the photo the photo's different, but it's just yeah. the rookie debut. It does quite a bit, actually. Cassis, Betts, Brighton, Ramilto, and J.D. Hammer. All right, last pack, and then we have our exclusive commemorative little coin patchy thingy whatever those are uh quantrell so nino cole tucker adam jones castro and then we have this insert the retail mel ott drew pomeranz martin martinez morton and Parker. So here's the little commemorative patch card. Congratulations, we got ourselves a Joe Morgan. So nothing crazy there. Ooh. What's a ooh? Mikey Strauss. Ooh, that's a good one. Me. Wow. That was out of my blaster. So that the my I first I just got three regular inserts on <clears> my first few packs, but there's gold Yastrzemski, so that's not bad either. That's probably a decent card. So. Yeah, I should look that one up too. Not too shabby. All right, I'm going to open up a fat pack here. So we'll see what we get out of here. You, What did you pull out of your fat pack? Um, I got the big one was the Sandbird, but I also got, I got a gold too. Got one of them. These fat packs have been good for series too. There's a Biggio rookie. Craig Kimbrell, um, Southside Warriors, Shane Bieber holding his bat. I have a pile here that is falling over. I'll come to your rescue. Um, Tom Browning is a good pitcher for the Reds for a while. And Ale Kaline, definitely a good player. Hall of Famer. Al Kaline. P. Alonzo, home run derby. And a Chavez, rookie debut. Brantley, Cabrera, Granderson. Keyboom, Puig, Donaldson, Acuna Jr., and Santana. She's got those two inserts. <laughs> Just got the two inserts. That was probably the worst of these fat packs, but that's what you can expect. I'd say probably... Out of like five fat packs, one or two of them will be decent. But that's what I would go with. Too. Yeah, I'd say a lot of them are not going to be that great. I'd stick with blasters or hanger boxes, but you can also pull big stuff out of these. But I think the odds are longer. I've not done a comparison. My blaster had that nice gold, but it literally had nothing else. It had one rainbow foil of Jan Gomes, and that was it. Yeah, my blaster had the one. Obviously, it was a huge card, but. Um, other than that, it didn't really have much either. All right, got a 
Josh Bell rainbow foil, a home run derby. Then behind that, Manny Machado and Aaron Judge. And then this is going to be a bunch of base here. There's a Tatis rookie debut and a, Verrer, a Guerrero. What'd you get? Got an A Rod here. I'll show it real quick. Um, a Rod, but it's the 150th edition, so it is a number, number out of a 150. It's not horrible. All right, next up, I'll do the hanger box, and then we'll go into our hobby portion. So, right about the 10 minute mark. Now, check out Striker Breaks. He did, I think, an eight hour long, I want to say, a retail break. I only watched probably an hour of it, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and he went into a Target, bought it out. Uh, if you haven't watched his breaks, check him out. Um, I really enjoy his breaks. Uh, and he also does some really cool things where he compares and shows you like data of he'll he'll do some research and show you what are the best buys according to kind of his research. So this guy is uh, sought after rookie there for the Cardinals. Um, anyways, check him out. Uh, but fun guy to watch. There's a Vlad rookie. So, yeah, he bought out a Target, basically went in there and just said, I want all your update. So, let's gold see. We got a gold coming up. Maybe it is another sought after rookie, or maybe it's just an old dude with. No hobby love at all. Jeff McNeil had a good rookie year. And kind of, kind of uh, neither. Queen City Kings, gold. A Tony Perez. And behind that, a rookie card, but not probably the guy we're looking for. Uh, Brandon still Bishop, a st still a rookie. J.D. Martinez, Aaron Judge, Nolan Ryan, and Mitch Keller, SP. So this is going to be the regular short print, but that was a pretty good hanger box, actually. Um, and we're not even done with it yet. Another, we got two Vlads in that one hanger box. Retail is going to be tough to beat. Yeah, retail is going to be really we're tough. We're going to have to have a stinking good. This had box. this had three Vlad Guerreros in it in one hanger box, uh, all different ones. So you basically got all three Guerreros. Yeah, all, all three. Ordinary. Yeah, it's impressive. Because he did not make the All Star game, correct? He made the home run derby, but he was not. Yeah, he did. Who's not an All Star? Right, because he that would have been the fourth card, but he did not have that. Yep. Okay, so let's open up the uh, hobby yeah, box. So the hobby box, you're guaranteed one autograph or one uh, mem card. Generally, you're gonna pull a memorabilia card. It's gonna take a lot to beat that retail break, uh, but we'll see. Alrighty, hobby time. You do not get a box topper in Hobby, which is kind of interesting, actually. Um, we'll go ahead and start off with the old silver pack. One thing that you do get in uh, Hobby that you do not get in the retail version. Yeah, so that's one thing you cannot get, and you can pull some nice cards out of this. It's got Trent Thornton, rookie. Cole Tucker, rookie. Nice Verlander. And Ken Griffey Jr., so that was Nothing not the crazy. best silver pack. Nope. But, oh, well. You want to each open up one on and one off or just do the full thing on? Um, No, let's do. We let's just do it on, actually. We have, okay. That's fine. Just go quick. We have, we're at pretty, doing pretty good on time. So, right? yeah, so. let us know what you think of this video. Hit the. Uh, hit the like button if you like it. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. We appreciate you watching. We're about a little over, well, right around halfway through here. And thanks uh, if you've been watching the whole time. Greatly appreciate it. Let us know what you, th how you think retail went for us and how you think we're going to do with the hobby. Yeah, and uh, obviously when we get done, who, which one, uh, in your opinion, won? And if you are to pick, what one you'd go buy? Personally, I think that um, just in general, because we've one thing that I personally have a lot of experience with is uh, series one, series two, and then from old football products. Like I open up from 08 football all the way to 2013. All I opened was retail hanger packs and stuff. Um, that retail you can definitely hit some decent stuff out of. And yeah. 
at a fraction of the price. It's I think it's a very underrated in my opinion. Um, it is the odds are longer, and it depends on the product. I think Series One, Series Two, and Update in the recent years, uh, retail's been pretty good. Got a gold here. I think it's our second gold of this dude, Kyle Baraclow. Was it really? I got I a jumbo. Re- we got one. <clears throat> I don't remember him. All right. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're you know buying product. Now, not every product is the same way. Tops Chrome retail this year was brutal. Um, yes, it was really tough. But retail, yeah, it it definitely depends a lot. Series two retail is good. Um, what was really good this year for retail was uh, Heritage High Number. Yes. Uh, Pete Alonzo stuff comes out of that Heritage High Number in retail more than it does in um, hobby. Yeah, we bought a couple. How many? What do we have? Like three blaster cases of that stuff yeah. that we opened. It was good. Yeah, it was really good. Cheater, that was fun. Um, regular Heritage retail is actually usually really good too. Yeah, regular Heritage. Yep. Now the thing with heritage is people don't like is you get you know all those cards that don't seem like much, but you have to if you're not a set if you're not building sets with heritage, you're missing out on a huge uh, return on your investment because yeah, that's where so well. yeah where a lot of your money is is just in making the sets. Nice, I rolled this Chapman Gold out of 2019. Um, I was, I was gonna say something. Oh, yeah, heritage next year should actually be quite yeah, good. Seventy one. Um. I don't know about the design. I don't really remember what 71 looks like, but just the rookies and stuff in there, Alvarez should be in there. I'm assuming that's why he's not updated. They're saving him for Series 1 next year. Yeah, he's going to be in Series 1, yep. So that could be pretty sweet. Rainbow. So that should be pretty awesome. Uh, Bo Bichette might be in there. trying to think of who else would be in there. Oh, yeah, this is the set I was thinking of. Oh, yeah, those so are sweet. So this is the black border with the name of the team and the name of the player on top. So we got a Bren Rogers 150th, number down to 150. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah. It's kind of a cool one. Yeah, the only issue with the black cards is condition. Yeah, right? it's going to be chipping. There's going to be a lot of chipping. It'll be tough ones to grade. Guerrero, Edmund... Will they come out of the packs clean, or will there be a lot of uh, issues with the surface? And Jones, Kirk, Kaiboom. But they will be sweet looking. That's oh yeah, for, for sure. sure. <clears throat> Vladdy. So what do we? We've got that one parallel numbered parallel. We got anything else? Another Vlad. Um, a couple golds. That's it. Okay. So. One fifty, Montana. Rogers, Senzel. Now, I haven't seen anything. Um, Brent Williams always does a great job with breaking down the products. He opens up cases and cases and cases of stuff, and he, tw- and he tweets a lot. And he usually will tell you what he's experienced with breaking the hobby versus jumbo. And I haven't seen him do that yet, so I'm not sure what the better buy is, if it's jumbo or, or hobby boxes. Because um, some years, one is better than the other. This year, Series 2, way better jumbo than hobby and it seemed like series one it was a uh, hobby so you never know over series two the year before hobby was where it was at because you couldn't even get the sharp prints i don't think out of the jumbo packs right so. here's the austin meadows that's pretty cool all-star game goal not bad it's not a huge card by any means sell for a few bucks but not too shabby all right, so we're still looking for our you mem also definitely or really get way more base out of retail, which is a good thing. Probably. Yeah, right, exactly. Because once again, this is a set builder's product, and I saw the sets were selling for about thirty-seven dollars uh, with free shipping on eBay. So a three hundred card set, it's not too bad. But you gotta take the time uh, to make all the sets, which and it takes time. It takes time. Willie Mays. So let's see what we got here. Shed Long, Strowman. Um, what do you think? Are we going to get an autograph or a relic card, Luke? Oh, no, a relic for sure. Relic for sure. And just one of those blah nothings. Uh, I don't know. I just hope we don't get a medallion. Getting a medallion out of a high box is like the worst thing. <laughs> happened to you pretty much. Yeah. And I've, I've, I haven't seen anything but those... Um, commemorative ones so far 
There's a, whoa, that thing is busy. 150th Bellinger. Look at all the stuff on the bottom. Yeah, record-breaking month, April 20th. <laughs> Island. Squeeze the to that bad boy. You don't really see a card with that much stuff on it usually. Interesting. All right, so let's see here. We still haven't got a low-numbered parallel, not that you're guaranteed that by any means. You usually but, do get something. But you usually do get something. A uh, Chris Paddock. Is this this is a short print? Yeah, it should be. Looks like it. Yeah, fifty five. Yep, regular rookie. SP. Look at use your little eyes. My big old eyes are. I feel offended because she's called my eyes little. You know, Sorry, it's, it's okay. your eyes aren't little. Sorry. You're just young. All right, let's see. That looks like a relic there. Yes, sir. We got our relic, everybody. Can't wait. Be, and at least it's an all-star one. Oh, yeah, those are good. Well, at least they're an all-star player, right? Yes. Let's just go right to it. Oh, Sonny Gray. I mean, he was a, he had a good <laughs> year, but he's not the guy you want. Um, I find it funny because we literally always get the worst wait, relics out of this stuff. Ever. Yeah, usually, yeah. usually. I'm telling you, retail is where it's at. <laughs> this this breaks so far. Let's well, I see. Think just in general, like I'm just looking at the stack of base cards, and it's like, dang. Yeah, I I had a feeling, and I said we said this right away when we opened up our jumbo box that retail would probably be the way to go at current prices, because this should be about a sixty seventy dollar box. Sixty. Yeah. Could you please move? Yes. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Um. Yeah. That that's right. Sixty dollars. Um, Nikki Lopez. 60 is almost pushing it, too. That's not a bad one, Nikki Lopez. 60, well, yeah, it could be. I wonder if these will drop way down in in price at all or if they'll stay up there. Uh, they're definitely drop. There's just no way. There's not enough people in here that are proven. Moustakis. Uh, there's a Keston. Tell me that hurry a guy could be stinking good. Garrett Hampson. The Brewers, I'm telling you, Brewers next year. They're going to win the World Series. If Toronto can get some pitching behind them in the they next could... five years or three years, they could be really good if those young guys develop. And they keep them all. That's the thing. They may just trade them all away or who knows what. Bo Jackson. I'd like to see that autographed. That'd be amazing. We've pulled, what, one or two Bo Jackson football autos, but never a baseball auto. Yeah, we never, yeah, we never have pulled a baseball uh -oh. auto of him, have we? I know we got at least one football. That was one of our biggest cards. We opened it in like 13 June, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Or 14. I it, was, it was pretty awesome. That was one of the cards I probably wish yeah, I had back. I should have kept that one. But, you know, there's there he is again, Mr. Gray. Vlad, rookie debut. Yeah, I agree. That is one I look back. There's, you know, you got to – at the time, you got to say, oh, I got to make some money off of this, or I don't, or whatever, and, oh, we'll get another one sometime, or, yeah. Just yeah, it happens a lot. Happens a lot, and then sometimes you keep a card, you look back at it, you go, why in the world did I keep this and not sell it when I could have? Oh. That's the SSP. That's the SSP. Yes, sir. Weird. So we got a Chris Paddock <laughs> we got two SP, variations of Paddock. and then. The SSPs are rare, though, so that's pretty sweet. Look that one up once. Yes, See sir. what they're selling that one for. That one might be a $50 card. Possibly. We'll see. It might be the best card in the box. That may, I think it is the best card in the box because the SSPs are rare. Yeah, they are. They're like, It's not a terrible name either. No, it's a good, pretty decent name. Roy Holiday. Flores. Well, these are all flipped around. It's weird. Actually, I like that tops did not make them, so they're all flipped around. There's only a couple times where that happens. All right, last pack of the break. So we got those two SSPs, or I mean, sorry, one S, one SSP and one SP, both of Paddock, rookie for the uh, Padres. So 
And the two that sold sold for like forty bucks. Okay, so it's not. I said fifty, so it's about right. Not That's huge, not but Ken Griffey, Vila rookie, and now oh, these are backwards here. There's a Yelich All-Star game, and the last card is a Brehu. This guy had a really good year. Um, so, all right, now we will go. Here ahead we and go. Get right into our comparison. Start off with Javi. Um, actually, we'll start off with the base because it's like the easiest thing to do. So, uh, Javi first. This is the Javi base stack, and on the right hand side is our stack from retail, and as you can tell, it is much larger, probably an extra 100 cards almost. <clears throat> um, so definitely more base cards in retail. Get don't, to, don't dump the stacks now. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to. Inserts for Hobby, we had, I won't show them all, but we had this many and this many for retail. You can't see them, actually. Yeah, that is very true. Definitely, once again, more for retail. Part of that is because you do get the retail exclusive inserts. But right. Still, probably more inserts in retail. And go through the good stuff here. Um, we'll go and do hobby first. So we got the Paddock SSP, Lopez Rainbow, Sunny Gray Relic, Paddock SP, Awesome Meadows Gold, Bear Cloud Gold, Chapman Gold, Clayton Richard Rainbow. Rogers out of 150 and the four silver pack cards Griffey, Verlander, Tucker, and Thornton. And out of retail, got the Mitch Keller SP, the Braden Bishop rookie, Queen City Kings gold, Alex Rodriguez medallion out of 150, Josh Bell rainbow, Jan Gomes rainbow, Grandal rainbow, Joe Morgan 150th, Yastrzemski out of 2019. Lane Thomas, Rainbow, Walker Bueller out of 2019, Sandberg, SP, Biagini, Gold, and definitely the best card of the break, the Vlad Gold. So I think, for me, retail yeah, 100% re one. Yeah, retail one hands down. I don't think there's any comparison, really. So um, let us know what you think, however, if you think uh, the Hobby Box one. I think the hobby box was actually okay. It, it wasn't was. A bad hobby I mean, box. when you get one car worth forty bucks, you get half your money back right it was there. Not a bad hobby. It wasn't box. actually bad, but it just can't compare when you pull that Vlad. And then we pulled the, um, uh, too. yeah, Scrimsy. But who was the the Color the relic numbered? Oh, uh, Rodriguez. Oh, Rodriguez. Yeah. So that's not. I mean, that's not a big card, but it's worth a few bucks. So, anyways, let us know what you think. Um, fun factor wise. Um, you know, if you had to buy one or the other, you definitely open up a lot more cards retail too. So take that in consideration. It's not about all about your return on investment. It's also, well, you know, fun. Do you like opening packs? All right. Well, thanks for watching guys. It was a long video. If you stuck in here this long, we greatly appreciate it. If you watch the whole thing, put that in the comment below. We'll give you a little star by your name <laughs> and, uh, thanks for, uh, tuning in. So take care, have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We'll be breaking more baseball soon. Triple Threads comes out, so stay tuned for that. See you soon.